The kahukiwi is thought to be the most esteemed of feathered cloaks and it's because of the kiwi, it's because of the bird that these beautiful feathers come from. Ko Verano Hetit Toku Moa, my name is Verano Hetit. I'm the sixth generation weaver of the Hetit family and my daughter is a weaver and my mukopuna will be weavers as well. This is what we do. We're here today to look at the kahukiwi that my mum was commissioned to weave for Te Papa. My mother and I both had the same thoughts around our native birds. We'd much rather have the kiwi in its natural habitat and hearing its distinctive call at night. Those are the beautiful things about these birds. So it saddens us, it saddened my mum and it saddens me that these birds are at risk because of predators. Unfortunately, they die. They die natural deaths and they are killed. And it is our honour and it's also our duty as weavers to bring another life force, another form of beauty to this beautiful bird's life. My mother always put in little surprises into her weaving and they were little surprises so that the mokopuna, so that children can try and find those surprises. And it was my mum's way of making sure that, this, that the children truly studied the cloak. Everything has a modi, a life force, and even when it's gone on, we can retain that or maintain that modi by bringing another form of beauty to its life. And that's where the kahukiwi comes in. And a weaver will place the feathers of the bird in the opposite way. So when the kiwi cloak is worn, the feathers shimmer and we finally allow this kiwi to fly. Mm.